Dean, uh, County Cup champions, how does that sound? Yeah, nice to win, always nice to bring success in whatever competition you enter in, you want to win it. So, yeah, we're delighted. And it was quite a dramatic game, to be fair, with the last minute penalty save. Um, obviously, the situation with Efron, which I thought was a horrendous challenge. What I would say, though, about it, stuff like that, is the Middlesex FA have to have a good look at the standing referee for these type of games, these finals. Um, I thought it was the referee was shambolic today. Uh, no, miles out of his depth, uh, level was. Um, we need better officiating. No comms, you know. Brentford did it right. Barnet did it right, and the officiating wasn't done right. It's uh, it's unacceptable. So we have to make a decision whether we enter into the competition next year. And as a manager, I have to do that because now I've got a player with a career threatening injury. Um, after the challenge, that was a horrendous challenge. Um, really, really poor challenge. And it's sad really to talk about that. Um, I understand why the kid made the challenge, but you know, the penalty was given against us that I felt was never a penalty either. So poor officiating, and uh, they need to do something about it. How did you see it to, tonight playing out, given the fact it was quite an end to end game uh, for, for, for the last part of it? Yeah, look, to be fair to them, they play uh, a system that's very difficult to play against the two tens and a, a striker leading the line, then they overload you with the ten running into the channel with the wing backs giving them width. So we played it with a four, uh, different system to them. And we felt that we, if we made enough contacts with them and stopped them sort of switching the play um, and locked them in and pressed them a little bit better, a little bit smarter, we could hurt them in the turnover of the ball. So on counter attacks, and we did that on several occasions, just lacked the real killer quality. Um, so it was a good game, good game by both, both teams. Um, and obviously Jake had a fantastic game as well, special mention to him as well. So I thought Ryan de Havilland was outstanding. He got booked early in the game for the first challenge of the game, or first foul of the game. He was given a booking straight away. Um, the referee obviously never let the, let the game breathe. And uh, he, he showed a real mature performance to not get booked again to play. I think he played a good 80 minutes, uh, you know, where he, he, had to, he had to play a little bit smart. And he did. I thought he was outstanding, got a goal. Um, showed great fitness levels, great energy levels, and a uh, special mention to him. But all the players did really well, so I'm delighted with them. How important was, it, was the timing of, of our uh, equaliser, given the fact just, it came just after the break and we, we had quite a lot of the pressure uh, fr from then on in? Yeah, well, goals give you a lift, and uh, the next goal was going to be massively important. I thought they scored a great goal, by the way. Great finish, but the kid, Marsh, he's just backed off, but he's got to get tight on it. I spoke to him at half time about it, get tight on it. At that he's called in the top corner. Great finish, good movement tonight. Excellent, excellent player. Um, so yeah, the timing of our goal was good, um, and really Efron had a great chance really to seal it for us as well. We got in some good areas, wanted to make as many entries as possible, and uh, the game plan sort of walked. But look, it can't the penalties a little bit of luck with that. Jake's obviously made a great save late, but I thought on chances we had the better chances. What, what were you thinking when uh, when the penalty was obviously awarded with a few minutes to go? Obviously, it was a, a huge chance for them to win it, and, and Jake's come out with a yeah, fantastic save. First thing, ours wasn't the penalty. I've seen I've seen it back. There's no one near penalty. Ryan's got the ball. And Jake's made the save. There's always a bit of dramaticness in, uh, in a full, in, especially in the final. So um, Jake's done brilliant. Um, he's done well to bounce back from his error on Saturday. Um, so yeah, delighted for Jake. And he's, he, you know, good performance from Jake. Really good, mature performance from a young, from a young goalkeeper. And, and it felt like a proper cup final tonight, didn't it? Yeah, our supporters were great. You know, singing it, singing us off there as well. It's great. It gives you that feel good factor. It's about winning. You know, supporters want to see the team win. And their supporters haven't seen that for a long time. So it's just, you know, creating that winning mentality is so important for me. Um, and hopefully we can bring that into the next game. A, a few good penalties in there. Do, have we been practising them ahead of today? We didn't practise them, I have to be honest with you. Uh, we did a recovery session yesterday, did a little bit of team shape. <coughs> and uh, I'd be lying if I told you we practised and we didn't. So got some good technical players. We had to tag with all the penalties, which was good. Even though I know Coxie missed, he's devastated he missed. But... Uh, so he'd be powered up off with his shot, he should have given him a right wallop. But some good penalty, Marriott's penalty was excellent. One of Ryan the Havilland obviously has a story where he looks at the goalkeeper. Uh, sort of canton our light, good finish by him. So, uh, yeah, delighted. How important is it now that we can carry on this momentum to, to finish the season strongly? Yeah, definitely. You know, winning things gives you that momentum, it gives you confidence, and we're lacking confidence at the minute. Um, hopefully, we can get a few more players back. Hopefully, Harry Taylor wasn't, wasn't available today. Hopefully, he might be back. We know Efron's definitely going to be out which is a huge blow to us um, he's such a big player for us. Paulie's come back and I thought he did a reliable job for us, Paulie. It, it, it was a great scenario at the back post, out of the corner and he managed to get underneath his man and make sure he didn't have a free header. It was a big moment, just experienced that he did really well. And uh, he gave us a good shift when he came off the bench. So yeah, um, momentum, you know, we want to build momentum and we want to finish the season strong with seven games left. So 
it'd be nice to sort of try do as well as we can and go and beat him within them seven games if we can, if possible. And a special mention to our fans who didn't stop uh, singing since the first whistle. Yeah, brilliant. Great atmosphere here. There's great non league ground, isn't it? Great people down at Hampton. Um, you know, and, and they've done really well. They've hosted, the, they've hosted the game really well. So it's a proper, uh, it's a proper non league ground. And it's uh, our supporters, yeah, I'm delighted for them. I'm delighted for our supporters. Uh, hopefully, we can keep sticking together. So we've got to keep sticking together. We've got to keep driving forward together. And once our players give their all, there's no more you can ask of any man in this world. So they've done that today. Um, we'll enjoy this evening and we'll cover tomorrow the next two days and we'll go to Dagenham and do our best again on, on Friday. And just finally, how will you be uh, celebrating tonight? I'll have a glass of red, to be fair. <laughs> I'm delighted for him as well, you know. He come under a lot of stick at the football club. Um, it's fair to town, he's honest, he says it how it is and, and we've built an unbelievable football club. We, my job now is to make sure on the pitch we get it right. Um, and like I say, we're looking for an honest, and that's all I support us on, we just want honesty. And uh, that's my job to make sure we continue to do that. Thanks for your time and congratulations Cheers. on the win. Tell them.